Welcome to our show The Success Stories presented by Trident Communications. I am Alka and I would like to introduce you to our guest of today Rajkumar Kanojia. He is an Indian Bollywood actor and has been seen in a lot of movies for various comedic roles and he has worked in films including Paisa Vasool, Dawang 2, Style, Oh My Friend Ganesha, Beshram and many more. He has also appeared in six international movies and acted in serials such as Balika Vadhu and Phulwa. To know more about his journey of success, let's welcome Rajkumar to our show. Hello sir, how are you? I'm fine, good. It's a uh, really a pleasure for us to have you here on the show, and we're really glad that you could take out some time and be here on today's episode. Yeah, it's entirely my pleasure. Thank you for having me. So, sir, what was the first time that you realized that you could actually get into acting? Um, to be very honest with you, since um, I've started off right from my childhood, so. Um, uh to be precise what i remember is uh, my first i think first attempt on stage was for fancy dress when i was in my i think uh, maybe in a junior kg i suppose so who inspired you through your journey in bollywood uh in bollywood i have no such uh, such icon who should i follow to rather i totally believe in myself and i think everything is right within so why to see outside for admiration and inspiration so i have no inspiration figure as such in front of me especially in bollywood so we have seen you in a lot of movies and uh, in serials as well and i had personally been watching balika vadhu and phulwa as well so uh in this entire journey like how did the industry treat you uh so far so good and i'm really happy i have no regrets and grudges for whatsoever and i'm having a very safe and happy eventful journey so far so i'm happy and people are treating me equally as happy as i am uh so please tell us something about your journey in bollywood uh see uh, it's been 24 long years till date and uh, basically i'm from theater i'm a theater actor first and i've started with theater itself uh it was like first uh, match theater then professional theater and this is how i got into films and ad films and television series now web series so at the very beginning of my career it's very understood that even i have faced some trials and tribulations in fact uh, rather i would say that we all are are absolutely by products of trials tribulations and errors so without experiencing such things you won't be able to fulfill your desire and one should go through everything whatever comes be and i thoroughly believe that come what may and take life as it comes okay so after doing so many movies and international um, movies and tv shows how did it change your life of course uh, it did change my life but in a healthy way in a, on a positive note of course on a very positive note because for the simple reason since we gained experience over and over again over the period of time so we tend to grow eventually and we could feel that changes within us so i i find myself more responsible towards my close one dearest friend most more accountable and at the same time i have to be very cautious so these are the changes which have been no have been noticing in myself and you have done uh, a few international movies as well so how was the experience there of course it was uh, quite different from your 
as comparatively to what we are familiar with bollywood but uh, walking down in dashi film like one of my most precious moments of walking was for a german film called the girl with indian emerald so i really thoroughly enjoyed walking in that german film and it was a pleasure a very memorable film so far because the director was to go it he was famous director of main from pain film cinema in german called michael karen and i've got an opportunity to work with none other than but stephanie stan who again was very huge name in german film so i am very really, i was highly hopeless to have her as you said 24 long years so uh, tell us something about uh, how the experience is like which roles are more challenging is it negative or positive or comedy roles which ones are more challenging to, to be precise an actor is only an actor he doesn't have doesn't have boundaries as such like uh, comedy or uh, ray role or what's whatever an actor can pursue and can do any character whatever he he has got to play so i have no um, prejudice as such and my perception was simple to enjoy what i have been given to what i have been assigned to and fortunately i have been assigned a lot of different shades of character to play and i did my best so far i always try my best to justice to give justice to the character which i play which i portray on screen so so how do you pre- uh, prepare for your roles like do you do your homework or like how is it done uh, of course so um, um, i do certain amount of homework but uh, i totally believe in spontaneity and i am i am not one of those one of the actors who love method acting in fact um, i rather enjoyed doing spontaneity on the spot i i my approach is very simple to be yourself on screen and to live spontaneity to give your best when you live in spontaneity that's what i surely believe in so if you had to uh, choose a character and place it as your favorite character be it big screen or the small screen which one would it be Of course, uh, without any doubt, I I would I would go for big screen because silver screen. That's what an actor always look forward to because uh, it's my totally it's my take. For me, serial is like mystery and films are like history, and history repeats. Mystery never. Uh, so, sir, as you said, uh, on the big screen, uh, I was talking about. one character from your movie or your serial that you have played a role in see i always whatever role i have done so far i've done to forget those roles for me i live only once that character so i really love to forget all those character which have whichever i have played so far i would rather enjoy doing what is upcoming so i'm looking forward to those roles and i'm always inclined towards doing different kind of roles different kind of character and i've been getting so far in fact uh, lately i've been getting good roles good character roles i'm happy putting that on screen uh that is actually a wonderful message that you live only once so the character just stays in the character see life reflects cinema and life is only for once life is only for there is no second take so same is with me whatever character i have played so far it was only for once i never repeat my character in fact if at all i have given a chance i have been doing same character for the next time i will do differently i just hate to repeat my character whatever i have played so far is that for me that's not justice with the character so uh, sir, when you are in this industry it is very uh, important to maintain yourself so what are some habits that you like keep yourself away from something that can ruin your talent 
see first of all our body is our asset that's the main asset our body so first of all we need to keep our body fit and fine because uh, if at all we are fit and fine we can have a longevity in our respective careers and uh, i tried all i tried my best to keep myself fit for forever and that's the reason why i still i am playing characters below my age under my age so that's something very um i'm proud of it's an achievement kind of because recently i've done a film that by in fact a younger brother of faisal khan that by i played a college student it was really mm-hmm. really extreme for me because uh, i passed my graduation almost 25 years back Uh, it is something that we have heard that power and money rule bollywood and it is basically more than uh, how much the merit deserves so how do you find this challenging or how do you cope up with this see for example what i believe is there is power and money exists only in politics only in politics in films and bollywood especially only talent matters power money doesn't exist at all if at all you are talented enough you will you will be worthy enough simple funda people will acknowledge your talent you'll be you'll emerge as a winner so far we have realized you're quite dedicated to your work so other than acting what are your hobbies and your passion uh, i love singing i love writing poems learn writing films short films and i i love watching people you can watch people endlessly i love for me it's it's like kind of passion hobby or um, a, a fruitful productive time pass watching people that's what i share with you so you're quite on the observant side yeah that's right and how do you like manage your routine how do you plan to begin your day i since i'm very optimistic person i'm very optimistic and very positive and i surely believe in formative lifestyle i begin with a glass of warm water heavy breakfast then i go ahead for my opportunities whatever god has given me this day so i'm looking forward to that this is how i follow my daily routine chores so since you are optimistic as you said uh, what uh, like with optimism what are the future plans that you are looking for like all the things that are lined up for you to work on the future projects see uh, since i'm optimistic so i never plan as such that what to do what to not as i said earlier also as my as far as my acting goes i believe in spontaneity so i just take life as it comes come what may i just enjoy the moments so i don't know what will be the next moment all i know that i need to enjoy that moment that's it So in this long journey has there been any unforgettable event that you would like to share with us Um as i said i am i'm very positive so i take it everything very on a affirmative note and even like for example take uh, this very interview or uh, this very interview there are many technical issues but still i have i have no calms and i'm okay with it because i take life as it comes so as this is going to be towards the end of the interview and the name of this show is success stories how do you define success success for me is happiness if at all one is happy with what he has achieved 
that is called success and one should be very well well content if at all we are content and enough towards our achievement we are proud of that it is called success uh any message that you would like to give to our professional young actors all i want to say is give it up keep working hard and strive for happiness if at all you enjoy what you do enjoy the process enjoy whatever you do then success will be in your hand completely and one last message to our viewers enjoy life that is a very short and in itself quite a brief answer yeah so thank you so much sir for joining with us today and giving us your time for this episode and i'm re- i'm sure that our viewers must be enjoying this episode since we had you here today thank you so very much and entirely it was my pleasure and take care be safe be positive be corona free bye <laughs> bye bye right stay tuned uh, for watching more such videos on every monday wednesday and friday till then stay safe